class, today we're going to talk about relations and function. On the standardized test practice problem, it reads, which algebraic equation shows the sentence four plus a number divided by six is equal to the product of 12 and the same number? Four plus a number divided by six equals 12 or the product of 12 and the same number. The answer here is B. A relation can be represented as a set of ordered pairs or as an equation. The relation is then the set of all ordered pairs, x, y, that make the equation true. A function is a relation in which each element of the domain is paired with exactly one element of the range. So for example, a one to one function is when each element in the domain is paired to exactly one element in the range. So each one of the x's is only going to a single y. An onto function is when each element of the range corresponds to an element of the domain. An easier, easier way to say this would be that two x's go onto one y. Two x's go onto one y. So another example, state the domain and the range of the relation. Does the relation represent a function? If the x's don't repeat themselves, this is a function. X cannot be repeated. Y can be repeated, although it isn't here, but it can be. Um, it can be repeated, but X cannot. And this says that the domain and range are both all real numbers. Each element of the domain, or the X, corresponds with exactly one element of the range. So it is a function. So we're going to practice determining whether a relation is a function and also find the domain and range. If the, the relation is a function, we're going to determine whether it's a one-to-one, -one, it's onto, it's both, or it's neither. Okay, first of all, our domain are our x's. So 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 3.1, and I don't need to repeat the 0 0.4. This, because the x is repeated, this will not be a function. So the type would be neither. The range of this function is three, two, one, one, zero. On number two, the domain is negative five, four, three, and negative seven. The range is two, negative two, 11, and see how we have another two? So two x's are going on to one y. That is a function because x didn't repeat, and this is an on to type of function. For number three, the domain is 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 
and 6. The range is negative 3, 12, and 8. The domain did not repeat, so yes, this is a function. And the kind of function it is, is a one-to-one. -one. Notice that there's only one x with one y. This is a one, two, one. For number four, the domain is negative 15, negative 14, negative 13, and negative 12. The range is 12, 11, 10, and notice the 12 repeated itself. X did not, so yes, this is a function, but two X's, both negative 15 and negative 12, are both paired with 12. So two X's are going on to one Y. This is an on to function. Equations that represent functions are often written in function notation. For example, y equals 10 minus 8x can be written as f of x equals 10 minus 8x. This notation emphasizes the fact that the values of y, the dependent variable, depend on the values of x, the independent variable. To evaluate a function or find a functional value means to substitute a given value in the domain into the equation to find the corresponding element in the range. For example, given the function f of x equals x squared plus 2x, find each value. We're going to find when x is 3. What this means when you see f of something is you replace the x in the function with that value. So we would replace it and simplify. Here on, let's see, on c, we're replacing x with 5a. So we're squaring 5a, which gives us 25a squared and we're multiplying 2 by 5a, which gives us 10a. I'll move the screen up for us to do the next two examples. We're going to find each value of f of x when it is equal to negative 2x plus 4. f of 12 would be found by replacing in the function where x is, we will put a 12. Our order of operations tell us to multiply before we add. So f of 12 is equal to negative 20. f of 2b equals negative 2 times 2b plus 4. Multiply before we add negative 4b plus 4. Notice we can't combine these terms because they're not alike. So f of 2b is equal to 
negative 4b plus 4. Now we're going to graph each relation or equation and determine the domain and range. Also determine whether the relation is a function, is one to one, on to, both, or neither. Then state whether it is a discrete function or continuous. Discrete just means that it stops, it doesn't keep going. Y equals three is a horizontal line, one, two, three, three up from the x-axis. The domain of this function would be negative infinity to infinity, and the range of this function, the y value, is always three. This type of function is an onto function because every value of x is going on to y at 3. This is also a continuous function because it keeps going in both directions. So I'm just going to put a t for continuous. Example 6, y equals 3x plus 2 can be graphed first by plotting the y-intercept, which is at 2. So I go up 2 from the x-axis. And then to count my slope, I can go up three, one, two, you can see I'd go off the graph, and over one, or I can go from my y-intercept and go down one, two, three, and left one. You see if I kept going one, two, three, over one, I'd be somewhere up here, and then my function would look something like this. The domain of this, it keeps going in both directions for x, it goes left and right, so this would be negative infinity to infinity, and the y keeps going as well, up and down, so it would also be negative infinity to infinity. The type of function if you can graph a line, a diagonal line, this is a one-to-one -one function. And it is also continuous. I'm going to put a C for continuous. I believe that that is all for this lesson. I hope that you've enjoyed this and are understanding a little bit better about relations and functions. Have a great day.